what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel so nick and i've been hanging out at the warehouse for a little bit we're doing some filming some planning and stuff like that and i got a message from a store that's like an hour and 20 minutes away and i kind of want to take it on for a video idea and i thought why not do it that's why we're filming so the message was hey bro it was great having you come by the store before we are putting together a ten thousand dollar mystery box and wanted to give you the first opportunity to purchase it if you would like just let us know and we will get it ready for you so if you don't remember this store i went there and i bought the entire like wall off of it so i'm curious because i've never bought a mystery box from them you guys know i go to a lot of different stores for mystery boxes and sometimes like the value of the shoes is like way higher than what it should and stuff like that and so maybe this will be different uh but we have to kind of like to do this we have to make a drive and go all the way out there it's in athens georgia but i think i'm kind of willing to do it nick are you up for it i think it sounds pretty sick they have a pretty decent like inventory and stuff there so uh i'm curious to see what they can do Ten thousand. i don't know how many shoes it is to me i would rather have like more expensive shoes because it's that we bought well, i need to quit talking let's go ahead we're taking not the rs today we're going to be taking the m3 which is outside we're driving an hour and 20 minutes as much as i'd love to drive this that far that's it makes so much more sense with bmw so let's go ahead hop in the car got to get some gas fill up get over there to the athens georgia all right, so we just stopped to fill up some gas right now. This car actually isn't too expensive to fill up. If you guys didn't see, I just picked the winner of the Supreme Dunk giveaway. We have another giveaway coming soon. You guys crushed that one. So many people entered that. I'm very curious, like the differentiating factors of the last one, but this is like one of the first times the stores is like I said, come and buy mystery boxes that we're making that we're selling. So it should be interesting to see. Right, guys so we just got about halfway through the drive with a little bit left but nick and i were talking for a little bit and i wanted to ask you guys we're talking about like maybe another car to add to the garage sooner or later and i wanted to get your guys opinion so obviously right now we have the gt3 rs we have the e46 m3 what's another car that we could add that would be like a fun car to like daily as well i was thinking a nissan gtr again even though i had one maybe one of those again but let me know in the comments down below what cars you think like i don't i'm not thinking about like a g-wagon or a, i don't know i'm trying to think of like what would be something cool i just thought i'd ask you guys all right so we made it to athens we're about five minutes out from the store now we're not going to be doing too much of in the store stuff we'll show you guys the store a bit but since we're going to be unboxing this at the warehouse we're basically going to get it kind of check out the store real quick we're going to head back to the warehouse and unbox this thing for you guys so not going to be too much time spent there but uh should be interesting to see if they have anything special to Guys, so we made it over to the store. If you guys don't know, it's under the uh, Jittery Joe's here. They have a little walkway here on Broad Street. So we're gonna go down there, say what's up, and uh, grab this box and head out. So let's go down there. Yo, what's good? What's up? We're back. Good to see ya. Look like we got some boxes here for us. Yep. Two bit. So there's two boxes. Two big boxes. I don't even know if that's gonna fit in my car. We had that issue last time of fitting in my car, but uh. Yeah. I mean, well, you bought the whole store, so. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. What do you expect? <laughs> All right, so we'll check out the store a little bit and uh, show you guys some of the shoes I got here, and then uh, we'll check out, take these, and hopefully they'll fit in the car. So let's do that. mess up any of the boxes in there. All right, we don't need to show you guys the struggle this time, but just know this will make it in the car. All right, guys, we just took, we fit them both in the car, thankfully. 
You might have to think about that in the future because that was close. And so uh, thank you guys again for uh, for making this happen. And uh, we'll be back, like I said last time, and uh, we'll see you then. We're back an hour and a half later. When I initially saw two boxes, it kind of like made me wonder, like, is it going to be a ton of shoes like last time? But they told me inside the store that it's 16 total. So the last time we there, we spent 11,800 on 40 pairs. This is 16, so we should get some more higher priced shoes. Hopefully some stuff we don't have, and uh, I'm excited to see. So we have to get these out. We kind of push the boxes back a little bit, maybe just a little bit. The box got a little dented in the car, but I think everything inside hopefully should be fine. So they even uh, dolled this up a bit and put mystery box, question mark, U kicks GA. 16 pairs total. Let's go ahead and just dive into it. I'm curious kind of if they approached it like differently than all the stuff that I bought before. Cause obviously you guys know we bought a ton of stuff, but let's see, we'll just open, should I look at what's inside or should I, I just, I won't look, I won't look. You guys said, oh, a box came off. Let's pull out a box top. Do want one box top? All right, I feel the shield. Let me pull these out. What do we have? Ooh, some. Oh my gosh. Please be an 11. 9.5. I still, to this day, have not come across my size in these for me to keep. We have a pair of the new Hyper Royals. Great colorway. Price has gone down a bit. They were around like 600 and now they're at like 455. This is a good one here. I really like these and I really want my own pair. Just have not come across them in my size yet, but that's a good one. A little bit on the lower end. So let's keep going. I see some more Jordan 1 boxes and I see some Yeezys, some Vapor Waffles. Tried not, I'm looking already, but some Vapor Waffles. Let's pull some Vapor Waffles out. These are probably, if I had to guess, the blue colorway. And those are going for a good bit. No, this, oh, these are the, uh, the green and the yellow, like Brazil type-ish colorway. I this is my favorite colorway. These are a size 9.5 men's, women's 11, but I really probably wouldn't wear these just because, I don't know, they're really long to look at it that way. So these are going for about 550 to $600 in the resale market. So that's pretty strong. I had a pair of these early on, I think almost before release, but that's a solid one. Let's keep going. Let's see, we got 10K. Those are the two shoes so far. This is going to be a Jordan 4 purple metallic, and it is, Check those out right there. These ones are a size nine. Price on these, I don't even know. I think these are probably like 250, 275. These aren't going too crazy. I'm gonna struggle with where to put this stuff. Similar sizing on those, and we'll keep going. So, ooh, I see an off-white box. A Nike swoosh off-white box. Now I wonder, that looks like a good size. Crispy box. I wonder which ones these could be. Trying to guess. You guys know I've had, I think it's safe to say I've had every single shoe out of the 10 collection, or the off-white collection. Let's see what we got. This is a, ooh, this is the black Air Max 90. This is one we don't see too often. These are in a size 9.5 as well. These ones look like they're worn once maybe. I don't even know the market on these. Black in a size 9.5, $806 brand new. So those are, those are up. Air Max 90s are a very popular one. They have the OG, they have the desert colorway. So let's keep going and seeing what we got. Ooh, we have a 350. This is a V2 core black, I believe. Yep, this is the core black colorway. I don't see much of these either. Obviously you guys know, I haven't bought too many of the recent Yeezys. Only recent one that I have is kind of this one, which is a bit different. I like that this is different than like the colorways they've been coming out with. It's got like this weird webbing on the bottom. I paid like 380 for these. I don't know how much they're going for now, but this is pretty clean. I haven't worn them. I haven't decided if I want to or not, but they're kind of cool. They're different. That's all that matters. They're different. So let's keep going and seeing. So, hmm. There's a box that doesn't have, that's like a cardboard box. And then I think I see something that we have seen so many times on this channel. It's expensive that Nick loves and might want a fourth pair of because he already has three. If these are strange loves, what size are we? Size 13. They are another pair of strange loves. We, this is a channel with the most pair of strange loves. Now, I currently, ooh, it actually has the stickers inside. Do you guys have these, Nick? No. These are some uh, strange love stickers. That's pretty cool. There's a couple of them. Nick's gonna try to steal these from me. Those are kind of sick. Strange love. I just got a size 11 and a half because I gave my other pair to Nick and uh, I've been wearing them. They get, like that's after two wears, it's crazy. But these ones are at size 13. I've never seen this size before. That's pretty massive. Size 13, if I had to guess, is probably like 1400 bucks maybe? 1500 bucks for those. So that's on the higher end there. 1500, size 11, or size 13. Now we have a Jordan one in this box. So we'll see what happens with that. 
If I had to guess, oh, core purples. These are probably bigger size too. What? Size 13. Any size 13. Just wait for my website. We got a couple pairs come over and nine and a half. Ravens colorway right there. This isn't my favorite of like the purples. I think I've only had these once. These don't, I don't, you don't see these as often anymore. Size 13 obviously is a bigger size. I, this purple is not my favorite as far as like the colorway of a shoe. There's a dunk that came out that I would like the color blocking, but these, they're all right. So we have this here. I'm curious what's inside. Cause it's like, not in a box, something special maybe. Well, it's in a box, but maybe there's a box inside. Okay, so oh, this is sketchy. This is like dark web mystery box. Had to buy it with Bitcoin. So a black bag with some shoes in it. Should I try to guess what it is? That feels like a one for sure. That's definitely a one, a narrow one. Oh. This is like all patent leather. I have an all patent leather gold. Wait. Ooh. I think I might know what these are. I think, because I think it says family. Shout out Dom from Fast and Furious. I think it says family on the inside. Ooh, they are the patent leather Jordan 1s. These are the, uh, the bread colorway. Dang. What size are, these are obviously not my size. The size nine. These are wild. I probably wouldn't wear these because of like the patent leather is so difficult to wear and hard, like my feet are a little bit wide, but those are crazy. Now I've heard stories about pairs cause these aren't out yet. I've heard stories about early pairs where it's on many channels I've seen this, where the people who get these from the factory, they shove them in their pants and then run out and it like bends them. So like, look at that. I don't know, I've heard stories. Yeah, on the inside it says family right there. If you guys know Private Selection, they told a story about it on theirs. That's where I kind of got the information that people like literally shoved them in their pants. So that's kind of funny. This pair seems to be all right, but all patent leather. Those are wild. They say family on the inside. All the Dom memes from Fast and Furious have it going wild. But that is the first half box. I don't know how to gauge pricing these. These are probably in the 300, 1500. I forgot all the prices, but we are surely halfway there. That's a pretty solid variation. You have older hype, a little bit older releases. You have some newer releases. So let's keep going. I don't know which box they would maybe say is better. Maybe I'll come around. All right, so we're on to box number two. This one did not come apart, thankfully, in the car. I had to pick my favorite shoe out of that last one. I would probably say the unreleased, the uh, the patent leather breads because it's unique. So let's see what we got here. Getting some eyes on this stuff. This is a big box. This is like a Jordan, this is like an older, size 13, Jordan 11. Ooh, these are the Concords from 2000 and 18, I believe. These are clean though. Check out the bottom. Nice crispy blue, icy blue. These Concord 11s in a 13 are 520 right now. And so after fees, that's like a $600 shoe right there. I'm surprised. We've got a couple bigger sizes in the size 13s. We have a Union box. Ooh, I really hope it's the new ones. I don't know though. Those are like, it's hard to come by the new ones thus far. So let's see, we got a Jordan 1 box. We have the UNCs right here. This is a size 10. I got these in my size four retail up on the shelf. The only W from sneakers I've had in the past year, thankfully, and I've worn them a couple times. Quality control on this pair apparently was pretty rough. These ones are not that bad. How are we looking so far for 10K? We've got a lot of shoes here. Let's keep moving. To me, oh my gosh, I see it. I see some boxes. This is huge. It has to be a 13. Yep, size 13. Which colorway are we looking at? We got the black unions right there. There's a ton of 13s. I need one of you guys to cash out on the size 13s on the site. The black colorway, my favorite colorway is the uh, tannish colorway, the guava colorway over there. Ne I got a pair of these and never wore them, but size 13, these are probably, size 13 is a little bit more expensive of a size. 11 pairs already. So we got five left and let's see what we got. I see that box is unique. I don't know what shoe that is. Oh wait. I do know what shoe that is. Hold on. Oh, we actually have a pair of breads as well. This is a size 11. I actually got these for retail on sneakers back in the day. This is the 2016 release. I got like this exact shoe for retail off of sneakers. I sold them for $260. Right now, oh my gosh, over a thousand bucks. What an L. I stay taking L's selling my shoes. Table's full. 
That's a good pair, $1,000 there. Now, this one is a bit controversial, you might say. Uh, this is my first time actually having a box of these in hand. We still have two more pairs left. I think I know what they are though. This is a Air KIY. Can't tell, there's some lightning bolts on it. So this is not a Nike. This is, oh my gosh, Air KIY 85 High. Now, this is kind of controversial. Oh. These are actually kind of clean. So obviously, this is not a Jordan 1. This is the silhouette of a Jordan 1 that another, you know, an artist made their own rendition on. We have cream laces here. We also have a bag. The one thing to me on these, this box is actually really nice quality. It's like thick. One thing about these to me is like, what do they, how do they stack up in comparison to a, uh, a regular Jordan 1? Because obviously it's not the same, but like, I'm already seeing like, that's like, that doesn't really happen on a regular one. like. It's a lot more structure. Just I'm curious like how they made them with materials and stuff. It's like, is it the same materials? Or is it just like, uh, you know, I don't know. It's like a thicker leather here. It looks very similar. There's some colorways that I actually don't mind. This one's not my favorite, but like, I don't know how to feel. I think Jordan just put out a whole thing on the, like a patent on their silhouette of this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about somebody taking their, it's like a Warren Lotus, taking a rendition of the silhouette of a shoe and adding their own twist like the lightning bolt here. I don't know, I think there's some cool colorways and if they're like decent quality, like I don't see too many issues, but like the only thing with this is it like, it seems pretty flimsy. Like I don't, like regular ones don't really do that. I, I'm all about it, but like, I guess if you squeeze really, yeah. There's a lot more force I had to put in, but it does do it. This one is just like very easy. Just I can push it in. I don't know. And these are in like reselling for like a couple hundred bucks. So that's a that's a controversial one there. Let's see. Next up, we have a. This is a fragment Jordan Three right here. Yep. Oh my gosh, these are already yellowing. Size 11. Look at the back. Already yellowing with that translucent uh, heel tab. That's crazy. I guess that's just what happens with those. I'm not the biggest fan of these. Uh, they're clean but there's not enough like fragment on it. There's not enough like design on it for me. Like, I don't know, like I have the fragment dunks and even the, I have the purple and brown pair and it's still like, I don't know. I don't have any interest in really wearing them. So we have one left that, uh, one that we've seen a lot recently. And I think I still, I still have a pair. Can't tell by the box. I swear this is a size 13 though. Uh, probably another 13, which is a rare size. It's a women's 14 and a half. That's a large size, size 13. You guys know this sneaker, the Ama Manier Jordan 3 right there. Such a clean shoe. I wear mine all the time. I really enjoy this sneaker and I will continue to keep this and wear this. Cool fit on the inside. Size 13 has to be one of the most expensive sizes. It's 14 and a half women's. Oh no, actually it's not. 375. Wow, I took an L when I bought my pair. Do you remember how much I paid in it? You paid like around a thousand. I paid like 750 for a pair. They're like 450 now or something. What the P rods, I paid 1400. Here's our 16 pairs here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. 10K worth. I think this is actually a decent value. We've had some boxes that we bought that we kind of like taken L's on, but I think this will be solid. If you guys are interested in any of these pairs besides the 11s, I'll probably keep the 11. Like these right here, I need to keep these. Go ahead and check out my website down below, harrisonneville.com. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.